Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical, and today for you guys, I'm going to be doing a different sort of video. Today for you guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and I suppose you could say Rechain of Memories if you wanted to. Basically, the PlayStation 2 Kingdom Hearts games on PC. Now, in future, I might do uh, a different video telling you guys how to play Birth by Sleep and the DS Kingdom Hearts games on your PC. But for the meantime, I thought that I'd just get this tutorial out because of the fact that, of course, number 2 as well as Kingdom Hearts 1 are the most popular Kingdom Hearts games. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys have actually already seen people uh, playing the Kingdom Hearts games, mainly number 2, on the PC. And I know if personally for me, a lot of people have been asking me recently and really since I've started to become, you know, obviously a Kingdom Hearts YouTuber a few years back, People are always asking me, how do you mod Kingdom Hearts and how do you play it on PC? Now the biggest reason why you'd want to play it on PC is, for the most part, probably for the mods. That is the biggest benefit. That's how I do all my mods. And yes, uh, in future, I will bring out a video teaching you guys how to mod the game um, on PC. But for the meantime, it's really, really cool just because of the fact that perhaps maybe you just want to try it on PC. And also, if you have a laptop that can... Um, of course, run the game and run the uh, emulator, uh, then that means you'll be able to, you know, play Kingdom Hearts um, on the run, which is really, really cool. So, um, do note, guys, you're going to be uh, having to download a few things. That's basically the whole premise around how to do it. So, um, prepare yourselves to download things, I suppose, and yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so, the two most important things you're going to need... Um, uh, the PCSX2 and the PCSX2 BIOS pack. Now, let me just firstly, you know, explain this. Now, if you guys don't know what PCSX2 is, it is a PlayStation 2 emulator. There's quite a few different PS2 emulators out there, and uh, basically, PCSX2 is the best um, PlayStation 2 emulator. I've been using this for years and years. It's very reliable. It is, without a doubt, the most popular PC, uh, PS2. My bad, PS2 emulator. Um, it's got a lot of support going for it, and almost every single PlayStation 2 game is supported um, by PCSX2, meaning that PCSX2 can actually run pretty much every single PS2 game. And Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of the most played um, PlayStation 2 games on PCSX2. It's a big reason why people download this emulator. Now, to get people up to speed, um, just in case you guys don't know, an emulator is basically a program that is going to emulate that console. Um, and PCSX2 is one of the most popular um, console emulators out there to this day. So don't worry guys, you're not going to get a virus from this. This is the official website as you guys can see right here. None of these things are going to give you a virus, so do not worry about that. So what you're going to want to do is, with the link I gave you, it'll bring you to this page right here. Now, um, basically, if uh, you're using um, Mac or Linux, I don't know who uses Linux, but whatever, uh, or if you're using Mac, basically you just want to go here and you'll want to select what, uh, you know, what OS you're using. Most people are going to be using Windows, so this link will send you right to the Windows download page. Otherwise, if you're using a different OS, then just come here. But basically what you want to do is you want to get this one right here. It's the PCSX2 1.2.1. Uh, Cynical, please. Um, standalone in installer. Just click download and you'll want to install it. Okay, so secondly, the other thing that you're going to want to download, which is going to help you run the emulator itself, is the PlayStation 2 BIOS. Now, the BIOS are the things that are sort of like the region um, coding files and all that sort of stuff, advanced stuff. Um, so you want to download this, it's called the PlayStation 2 BIOS pack, it's in the link in the description. Um, so any of these pages that I'm referring to, these download pages, the links will be in the description below. Um, you're just going to want to download the file and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so basically what's going to happen is once you've downloaded both of those things, you'll want to start up PCSX2. Now for me I've already set up mine and stuff like that. But the biggest reason why people don't download this problem um, is due to the fact of the setting up. Now, the setting up can actually be pretty damn confusing. Um, I'm not going to lie, when I first, you know, started using this emulator, I was super confused. There's heaps of tutorials on YouTube, and that's how I learned how to use the program. It's not super complicated if you know what you're doing. But in this video, I'll teach you guys basically just how to quickly um, set it up and stuff like that. So, once, you know, like, like I mentioned, 
Download those two things and once you have them on your desktop, just open up the PCSX2 program and uh, you should come up to like a setup page that will be similar to this, right? Now the first thing you should come up to will be the plugins. Now uh, for each of these things that you'll see on your screen, just set them to like I have them right now. So for GS, we're using the GSDX0, I um, think it should be at the top. For pad, we're using uh, LilyPad. For SPU2, we'll be using SPU2XR5830. For CDVD, we're going to be using the Gigahertz. For USB, we'll be using, um, there should only actually be one option there, so yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, the same goes for FW, there should only be one option there. And same for Dev9, there should only be one option there. Now, the other important thing to the setup is the BIOS. So, the other thing that you guys downloaded will be the BIOS. Now, the way this is going to work is what you want to do is um, you're going to want to drag your BIOS folder that you downloaded off the internet. Um, you want to go into Documents, you want to scroll down to PCSX2 and just simply drop and uh, drag and drop the BIOS folder in there. And uh, you should probably have a folder similar to this one. Just simply do that, and then you'll, what you'll want to do is, um, for you guys here, it'll be blank. There'll be nothing in here. You won't see Europe, Japan, USA, etc., etc. So what you want to do is you want to click Open in Explorer. Um, make sure that your, you've already dragged and dropped your BIOS folder into the PCSX2 folder in your documents. Basically, just select the, uh, you know, the BIOS folder and then hit OK. And from there, all these things should pop up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select one of these. Now, the thing is, um, obviously PS2 was region locked, so um, for games like, uh, let's say, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, it was a Japan-only game, right? So uh, if you want to play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, you'll select uh, the Japan one. Either one works. Um, otherwise, if you're just playing a normal game, say Jack and Daxter or something, that's, you know, NTSC, just uh, select USA. And yeah, from there you should be super cool. Now, the other thing I'm going to teach you guys is how to set up your controller, because obviously you're going to be using a controller. So what you're going to want to download to get your controller to work, uh, basically I use this program so that um, I can use my controller um, with my PCSX2. I know for some people, um, you know, their computers actually didn't need a program to pick up their PS3 controller as a um, gamepad on the computer but um, if you know if it's not working on your computer it's not picking up just simply download motion joy it's a free download it, there's no viruses or anything and um, it works really really well so I'm gonna open up the DS3 tool once you've downloaded it you should have the program right here it's uh, it's going to sort of take its time and it's going to load now I don't have a controller plugged in right now um, as of the time of this recording my controller is not currently with me but the way you connect it to your computer is you know how you charge it on your PS3 right you get the cord plug it into the controller you do the exact same just plug it into the computer in the USB slot it should um, pick up right here the option you're going to want to uh, select right here is PlayStation 2 you're gonna want to select this one for PCSX2 so there's even programs that support this emulator as well that goes to show that it is widely supported so it should be running in the background. So what you want to do uh, after that is you want to go to config right here, right? You want to go to controllers and then go plug in settings. You want to select for pad one. Now this is really really straightforward. Basically, um, what you do is say we want to um, assign R1 to our controller. You just click on R1, and then it'll be like um, once you clicked on it, you just tap the button that corresponds to what you're trying to assign the button to. So it's very, very straightforward, very simple, and quite easy. All right, so the last step is, now that you guys have got the whole emulator set up and all that, it's all running, you've got the BIOS done, you've got the whole, um, all the other settings set up, you got your controller ready, now it's to talk about the game. So exactly how do we get Kingdom Hearts on there? Where do we get it from? So there is a couple of ways of getting Kingdom Hearts. The easiest way and most legitimate way to uh, get the actual game itself is if if you have a um, you know an actual PS2 copy of say Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts 2 what you can do is you can just get the disc put it into your PC's disc tray and um, that's it you're, you're, you're set to go that's all you gotta do um, very very easy otherwise if you do not have that um, you can actually download an ISO off the internet 
It's completely up to you if you guys want to do that. I'm not going to show you any sites to do that. But uh, the best way to do it is just to Google Kingdom Hearts ISO. That's really the best way to do it. Um, so, yeah. Also, another option is if you do, don't want to, you know, have uh, the PS2 disc in your PC at all times, you can actually just rip the ISO off the disc and have it on a file on your computer. That's also a really, really good way of doing it. And that just means that you don't have to worry about having the disc in the whole time. So once you've got your ISO or your disc, uh, basically what you want to do is you want to go to ISO selector. You want to browse for it. Um, as you guys can see, I've got Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix right here. So uh, I'm going to select that, open. And just to make sure, ISO select, as you guys can see, it's highlighted over Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix ISO, which is really, really good. And what you want to do is you'll want to just go boot, full, fast, doesn't really matter. Uh, if you select fast, it'll skip the whole PS2, you know, introductory scene. But just for uh, sort of demonstration, um, you know, reasons, I'll go full. really doesn't matter. And um, as you guys can see, there we go. It's loading up. I'll just give it a few more sort of seconds to show you guys that it actually does work. The PS2 thing comes up. Really, really cool. Um, also, you don't overly need the greatest specs, but um, you need sort of half decent specs to uh, emulate uh, these PS2 games. So um, just, just letting you guys know. But most computers these days can run this, so you should really not have any issues um, with it whatsoever. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. As you guys can see, we got Sora and Roxas right there. Really cool. Kingdom Hearts Tool Final Mix. Um, now, the one I have is English patched and stuff like that. I may make a tutorial later on, but obviously this video isn't for that. Just showing you guys how to play the actual game on the computer. So, there we go. And, um, yeah, that's all that sort of stuff. One other thing I'll uh, show you guys is um, you can actually change, like, the resolution settings and all that. Um, so, in here, uh, as you guys can see, yeah, you can change the uh, the sort of the scaling. So, you can select how well the uh, sort of textures and stuff are. You can put anti-aliasing on and all that sort of stuff. Um, but as far as that stuff goes, that's all up to you guys. And it's um, that's where sort of PC specs uh, come into play and all that sort of great stuff like that. Can get complicated if you want to go in depth. You can actually make this game look really, really, really good. Any PS2 game, in fact, even better than what the games are looking on the HD remixes. It just means that uh, if you want to do that, you'll probably need a better computer um, with you know better specs, etc., etc. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in more of that stuff, then I suggest just go into YouTube. There's a ton of tutorials out there. Even go to the PCSX2 sites. Go into the forums. Lots of help there. Awesome community backing up this emulator. Highly recommend it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'm going to most definitely be bringing out a video on how to actually mod Kingdom Hearts 2 later on sometime. Don't really know when I'll get around to doing it, but uh, I promise you guys, you know, it's been... You guys have really been asking me to do that video for such a long time. So take this as part one, um, showing you guys how to play on the computer and stuff. I know it's a different video today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.